Hey guys, I am Elizabeth, the Minister of Beauty, and I share the Bible that's business inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. To find out more about me, you can go to the links in the description box below to check out my websites. I am a skincare line creator, and it is an amazing skincare line, so please go support the line, support your skin, and I also am a licensed esthetician and a beauty business entrepreneur. I have been since 2008. Eight, but I've been in the world of entrepreneurship since 2006. Anyway, I just want to encourage you really quick, guys, just a little bit of business inspiration. Don't allow your previous negative experiences to stop you from obtaining the success that is waiting for you after you put in the work later. Because in this life, in this world, it's just a part of the journey. We're going to go through experiences and situations that are not going to be so fun, that are not going to be the, you know, the best feeling. And it can hurt you and it can discourage you to honestly not want to proceed and, and move forward. You know, I'm just going to share a little quick story. I went through some things in um, the past where I just, I, I'm in the beauty industry, right? And listen, some stereotypes exist for a reason, but dealing with a lot of women is just not something that I was just really used to. I was previously in the legal field. I was a legal assistant for 12 years. I never really was a lot around a lot of women I don't come from a background where I was around a lot of women. I have no sisters. I didn't have a lot of close women around me. I mean, I have my mom, I have a couple of aunts, and I never really had like a ton of close female friends. And just the situations that I experienced over the years, it didn't really <laughs> make me want to go out and just be around a lot of females. There tended to be, from what I had seen, a lot of drama when it came to females. But yet and still, coming to be a business owner in the wellness and beauty industry, I never really thought about that much because again, I never really had a lot of experience with women, with females, with girls. So I just wasn't even really thinking in that way. And because I had such a great experience with my first team member that I ever hired that is a female, I really didn't expect anything less than what I had the gift, I should say, of experiencing with my first hire. But I've experienced more than a few females over the years that just really made me question, like, do I even really want to hire anyone else anymore? I'm happy to do what I do and I'm enjoying my business and I enjoy the services that we provide and things like that. And I'm not even saying that every client that I've experienced over the years has been the best because there have been a few of those that were just like, really? <laughs> but I digress. Dealing with it in my business with team members, with people that I hired that were looking for opportunities, that were looking for jobs, and I experienced a number of different things that were, one, pretty dramatic, and two, some were just downright hurtful emotionally and somewhat financially too in some instances where it was like, do I even want to bring anyone else on board anymore? And I'm gonna be honest, I put a pause on that for a bit because I just wasn't, I wasn't sure that I was ready to deal with that anymore. And I had even thought about, I did downsize, but I had even thought about downsizing a bit more because I was just thinking like, I don't know if my heart and my head can take any more of those things, especially with the personal life issues that I was experiencing in my own personal life with a, um, a close loved one, my husband being diagnosed with PTSD, and then me even dealing with the Biprox as well because of his situation as well as even my own. So, and dealing with anxiety and some depression, it was rough. So I really at one point felt like, ah, I'm good on that. I don't, I don't wanna bring anybody else on board. But there are good people out there, right? 
I did put a pause on it for a while, but then I just started to pick it back up and I brought in, you know, another great person that I really adore. And of course I'm doing things differently now than I used two years ago, because you don't go through situations that are negative to not learn from them. The whole point that you should get from it is to learn what you need to learn from the situation so that you can hopefully prevent going through those situations again. And if something like that comes up again, you kind of know how to combat it, you know how to get out of it or whatever, you, you learn how to pivot. So with that being said, she has been great. I've got, you know, I've got a few, more than a few great people on my team right now and I'm really grateful and thankful for that. And then I just decided that there were other people I needed to X out of my business and I did that and now I have other people who are on my team now that I'm really grateful that are here now and grateful for those who are coming because I'm doing things differently and also I'm not allowing those situations that happened in the past to prevent me from moving forward in the future to have even better than what I had before. So I'm saying all of these things just to let you know that you cannot allow the negative experiences from the past to impact you in such a way that it prevents you from your future blessings, that it prevents you from your future success. Yes, you went through those situations. Yes, they may have hurt you. Yes, it may not have felt very good, but you get what you need to get from the situation and out of the situation. Use wisdom moving forward and do what you need to do to prevent going through those situations again in the future, present and future. So guys, I really hope you got something from this video. I definitely got a lot from those experiences and I am so grateful to say that I survived it all. I'm still here and I'm not allowing those situations to stop me. I'm still here. I'm still here and you are too. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, for liking the video, for sharing it with someone that you know, like, and love. I am Elizabeth, the Minister of Beauty, and I share the Bible. That's business inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. So until the next time, I hope you all have an amazingly blessed and beautiful day.